News has just broke around Major League Baseball that Los Angeles Angels superstar Shohei Otani has recently torn his UCL, meaning that he will not pitch for the rest of the season. Of course, he will still be active in the team offensively, like he's going to be batting and everything. Not that it's going to matter. I mean, they're going to play for a few more months. This team is not making the playoffs. Now, why talk about the Los Angeles Angels and Shohei Otani right now? Well, that's because this injury basically marks the beginning of the end for Shohei Otani's time in Los Angeles. See, if you're unaware of Shohei Otani's contract situation currently, the man is in the last year of his current deal and is set to hit the free agent market this winter. Now, I mean, that's the reason I made a video about Otani a few weeks ago. Because at the trade deadline, there were rumors that Shohei Otani might possibly be moved. You know, the Angels try to get the most value they can out of him. But they decided as an organization that instead of trading Shohei Otani, they were going to make a playoff push with the guys they had. And at the time, it was understandable. I mean, they were a bit above 500. They were on a little bit of a win streak. The team was looking good around the trade deadline. So I understand why the team went in this direction. But it hasn't worked out. In fact, since the trade deadline, since the All-Star break, the Angels have been one of the worst teams in baseball. But if we're being honest, a lot of that can be contributed to injuries. I mean, this team has been plagued with injuries since Shohei Otani entered Major League Baseball. It's one of the main reasons, even though the Shohei Otani and the Angels have been together for, what, five, six years, this team still hasn't made the playoffs. Sure, they got the best player in the league, and then they got Mike Trout, like the second best player in the league. But these guys are barely healthy. Uh, Like I said, Shohei Otani tore his UCL. Mike Trout and Anthony Rendon are barely playing games. And together, these three guys accumulate for over $100 million when it comes to cap space. I mean, let's just take a look at the Angels' books right now. Currently, Anthony Rendon... Yes, 33-year-old Anthony Rendon is in the middle of a 7-year, $245 million contract. He is the highest paid player on the Angels roster currently, making at about $38 million a year. I mean, average yearly salary, Anthony Rendon is being paid the most. Then you got Mike Trout, who's in the middle of a 12-year, $426 million contract, getting paid $37 million. And then... Shohei Otani, of course, at the end of his deal, getting paid $30 million. But let's look at how many games Anthony Rendon has played. The season is about to end. It's a few, like a month and a half away from ending, right? Anthony Rendon, 43 games. The season before that, 47 games. The year before that, 58 games. And the year before that, 52 games. He's been with the Angels for four seasons. And the most games Anthony Rendon has played in a year is 58 And before that, when he was with the Washington Nationals, this guy was in MVP convos. That's the reason the Angels went out and gave this man a bag. Art Moreno, the owner of the Los Angeles Angels, saw this man being in MVP talks nearly every season for the Nationals and was like, I want that guy on my team. And that guy has not played 60 games in four years. He hasn't done it since 2019. And then Mike Trout isn't any better. I mean, this guy has given one of the biggest contracts in MLB history, deservedly so. He's been loyal to the Angels since he made his Major League debut in 2011 at only 19 years old. This man has been loyal to the Angels, has won MVP after MVP, even though the team wasn't good around him for most of those years. And recently, I mean, he's been kind of iffy when it comes to being healthy. This year, he was doing pretty good up until he got hurt recently. He's only played in 82 games. The year before that, 2022, was a little bit different. I will, you know, uh, give credit where credit is due. He played 119. Of course, what? He missed almost 50-ish games. But still, you know, that was better than the seasons before because in 2021, 36 games. You know, he was taken out most of the year due to injury and then 53 games in 2020, but COVID year, whatever. So... You know, Anthony Rendon and Mike Trout for the last three and a half seasons, they haven't really been there for the Angels. And these guys are getting paid the most money by far. I mean, the next guy after them would have to be Tyler Anderson, who's making $13 million a season, 
which is still a ton of money, don't get me wrong. Tyler Anderson is getting paid the big bucks for the Angels, but like the trio is the main core of the Los Angeles Angels and they're barely playing. And then when you look at their recent success, I guess, in the regular season, it starts to show. I mean, it's, you start to understand why they haven't been able to win. They're never healthy. Uh, they're 61 and 67. Six games under 500 and the season's about to end. They're nowhere near making the playoffs. If we look at the current uh, wild card race, the Los Angeles Angels are 10 and a half games out of it. So it looks like they're not making the playoffs. I mean, they've got three teams in the division who have 10 more wins than them and the season's about to end. So yeah, the Angels are cooked. The only thing they could do is hope that Art Moreno is able to convince Shohei Otani to come back to the Angels, even though the organization has proven that this is not a successful one. They haven't won since the early 2000s, and it's not looking like it's going to change anytime soon. Because before this season, what? They won 73 games, 77 games, whatever COVID year, 26 doesn't count, 72. They haven't won, they haven't been over 500 in a season since 2015. They haven't won more than 82 games, um, you know, 81 games. They haven't been above 500 since 2015. This organization is an absolute mess. And Art Moreno tries his best. He goes out, he spends the money, does what an owner is supposed to do, brings in talented general managers to coach the squad. Hell, they had Joe Madden and still couldn't figure things out. So I don't know where the Angels go from here. Maybe, just maybe, the Angels and Armoreno are able to convince Shoei to come back, but I doubt that. There is almost no way that's happening, and I can't wait to see where this man goes next. I mean, he ain't coming to my Oakland A's, that's a fact, but as long as he gets out of an organization like Los Angeles, I want to see this man win, and he's not going to do that with the Angels. But here's the thing. This UCL tear, you know, he's had injuries that have affected his pitching in the past. When he came into the majors, he struggled because he had to deal with injuries, which only allowed him to pitch 10 games in 2018. And 2019, he did not pitch at all because of these injuries that were messing up his arm. But, you know, the last couple of years, he was able to prove all his critics wrong. And he was racing, in, say, Cy Young Award winners, uh, winning MVPs. He was able to do both sides of baseball at the same time extremely well. But these injuries are catching up with him. He's almost 30 years old. Maybe they decide to cut back if he goes to a new team as batting. Or maybe they cut back on his pitching. Or maybe he stops doing both. Who knows? But whatever it takes to keep Shohei Otani healthy. Because we may never see a talent like this again. No one will ever come close. I mean, the last guy to do it was Babe freaking Ruth. And he was playing plumbers and farmers, right? Anyway, that's it for the video. If you're an Angels fan, I'm sorry. You kind of lost out on the best player in the world. And you kind of ruined his career, let's be real. You set this man back. Imagine if he went to a real organization like the Astros or something. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Catch y'all later. Much love. Deuces.